This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. In this tutorial video, we're going to review how you can recycle your Google Forms. This allows you to reuse a Google Form from year to year without the need to make a copy. There are three simple steps to this process and we're about to review them. They are unlinking your form, deleting all form responses, and choosing a new response destination. Let's get started. In this example, I have an evaluation form that I would like to reuse. I have 103 responses in the current form. So if I click under responses, I can see that this is where the responses are being located. And I also can see that I can click here to navigate to the associated spreadsheet, which I have open here. I need to first break the link between the existing spreadsheet where responses are being dumped. So I'm going to do that by clicking on these three dots and choosing unlink form. Make sure you read what it says. You're going to be choosing, uh, this will mean that the data will no longer be going into the spreadsheet. It won't actually delete it from the spreadsheet and it doesn't delete it at all from the form. So if I were to at this point make a new spreadsheet, all of these 103 responses would dump into the new spreadsheet. That's why we have to do these other two steps. The next step is to delete all of the responses. This might sound a little frightening, but remember, all of the responses are still in this spreadsheet, even though I've unlinked the form, and they will remain there even when I delete all the responses. Choosing delete all responses is a, a piece that cannot be undone, but again, I don't really want these responses in the form, I just want them in the spreadsheet for reference. So I'm going to say OK here, and you'll notice this form now is empty. So the last step is that I want to relink the form or put it in a new spreadsheet. So I can choose the three dots and create a new response destination. And you could make a new spreadsheet, or I actually like to use the existing spreadsheet and then add a new tab. This works really nicely when you have a pre and post test, for example. So that will just create a new place where the new responses are left, so it will separate them from the previous years. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out online at teachingforward.net.